You'll never be perfect. No intention. No intention. Years. Years. I had no idea. No idea where it would take me. To do what I do requires all of me, all of my heart, and all of my mind. Kelly Clark, another gold medal. It's never been about keeping up with others, but about setting the pace. It's about the snowboarding. Women's snowboarding reaches a new height. For 20 years, competition has been the place to push myself, to see what I'm capable of and what's possible. I never thought that I could make a career out of snowboarding. Ladies and gentlemen, your SB champion. That changed when it became an Olympic sport. I knew then, at the age of 14, that this was the dream that I wanted to spend my life pursuing. At the time, I had no idea where it would take me. Okay, Kelly, you're on the camera. Sports have a way of teaching life's principles in a simple and beautiful way. I did all my growing up and learning about life through snowboarding. It's taught me how to define success, deal with failure, and develop a strong sense of self. Oh my God. Wow. Riding away from that, Ellie Clark, you are a warrior. I've learned to live and thrive in a performance culture, but not be defined by it. I'm proud and thankful for where I've been and what I've achieved. If it was about winning, I would have stopped a long time ago. Kelly Clark. In snowboarding, no matter what you accomplish, you'll never be perfect. You could always go a little bigger, grab a little longer, land a little cleaner. The possibility of what could be pushed me to try and fail and try again. I've learned that true greatness is an inside job and that it's entirely possible you may be the only one who truly understands the depth of your victories. After 20 years, nearly 200 events, 137 podiums, 78 wins, and more pipe laps than I can count. I feel that at last I found my own personal ceiling and it's time to let others stand on it. Just like I stood on the ceiling of the generation before me, the next generation will take half-pipe snowboarding further than I ever could. Today, I step away from competitive riding, knowing that women's snowboarding is alive and well, and in good hands. I've always been a snowboarder, and I have no intention of stopping. Just because I won't be competing, doesn't mean I won't be riding. Less time in a jersey just means more time to explore what else snowboarding has to offer. Snowboarding has taught me so much, especially that life is better with friends. Trisha, Tora, Hannah, Gretchen, Elena, Anne, Shannon, Chloe. These women have made me a better snowboarder than I ever imagined. Thank you for the inspiration and thank you for the friendship. I always wanted snowboarding to be better because I was a part of it. I believe that's true, and I plan on doing whatever I can to continue to contribute to the sport and lifestyle that's given me so much. Along with Donna Carpenter, I'll be focusing my energy on developing sustainable products for Burton, inspiring others from the things that I've learned from my years competing, and of course, I'll keep riding. I like to think that I'm just getting started. 
I say goodbye to the bib, but cheers to friends, cheers to the future, and cheers to snowboarding. much love from Zermatt. I'm so excited for you. What an honor it is to share my appreciation for everything you gave to snowboarding. You're not just an amazing athlete, but you're also an amazing human being. Thank you so much for being that person that all the girls can look up to. Thank you for giving your heart and soul to progress women's snowboarding beyond anywhere we thought it would be. Congratulations on such a fantastic chapter of your life and cheers to the next one. So much love. I love you so much I've been doing a selfie at the airport. <laughs> May the next 20 years be filled with pow and lots of laughter. Love you. Much love. And I expect big things. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs>